we're doing our yearly aerial larva sighting for spring mosquitoes. Um, spring mosquitoes um, come out in the flooded woodland areas when you see snow melt and the rain like we've had the last week or so. The, we have a lot of water standing in the woods and that's ideal for our spring mosquitoes. So we've been monitoring as they've been growing. We first found them March 26 and they've been growing and they change from instar to instar as they get older. And, they're at the ideal stage for us now, second and third instar, so we're going to be larva sighting with five airplanes probably for the next five to six days until we get all the acreage done in Saginaw County. How many acres do you do here in Saginaw County? Um, right now we're doing 45,000 acres, which is about two-thirds of the woodlots in Saginaw County. Explain to me a little bit about the larva site. How does that work? The larva site is BTI. It's a natural soil bacillus. And it's actually like a powder, and it's, it's actually fermented and it's stuck to a corn cob granule. And the granule is what drops from the airplane. And then when it, it lands in the water, that powder will release and float on the surface of the water. And the mosquitoes will start eating, and they're kind of filter feeders. They just filter water and they get these BTI particles inside. And once it gets in the gut, it lacerates the gut, and then that kind of fills up with water, and then they eventually die. Randy, we've had a lot of rain. Is that. Uh causing you guys any problems this year? Well, we're finding more water in the woods than we've had the last two or three years. The last two or three years, it's been kind of dry. But actually, we like it when it's really wet, because we've had in past years, we get to the point where we do our larva site, and then we get a lot of rain, and the water actually rises, and we have a few eggs that hatch after we've done the aerial application. So this year, we're kind of excited about the fact that the water levels have been high, so pretty much any egg that's been laying out in those woods are going to be flooded. So we should get them really good this year with the aerial application. We don't have to worry about any secondary hatches later on in the spring if we have some heavy rains. Randy, obviously this is just the beginning of your season. What else do you do throughout the season to control mosquitoes? What can people do to help? Well, this is yeah, this is just for our spring mosquitoes. We still have all our summer mosquitoes. And we really t try to encourage people to look in their backyards. Anything that holds water, a fishing boat, pail, tires, swimming pool tarps, whatever, um, if they can take care of those kinds of habitats, that'll at least eliminate mosquitoes that breed on their property. And then we can concentrate on other things like roadside ditches, flooded fields, flood plains, the much larger habitat. But it's really hard for us to go through every backyard and look for every kind of habitat that holds water. So if people would just do that, dump it out or put it somewhere where it doesn't hold water, that'd be a great help for the whole neighborhood and us.